हेलो एवरी वन होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेट एंड स्टेइंग होम स्टेइंग सेफ सो टुडे एज यू ऑल कैन सी वी हैव आई हैव केप्ट वन केप्ट वन शीट हेयर सो वी आर गोइंग टू डू मोजेक आर्ट टुडे एंड वी हैव ऑलरेडी डन दिस आई गेस बट स्टिल दिस इज डिफरेंट वन सो वॉट वी गोइंग टू मेक इज वी आर गोइंग टू मेक वास वी आर गोइंग टू एड सम फ्लावर्स But the interesting part is that we are going to divide the space. So how we are going to divide the space? Let's see. First, we are going to do the drawing part. So we are going to make this vase, simple vase. Okay, in the center of the sheet. Okay, and then we are going to add, make two lines. One in the left, the other in the right. Okay, and then we're going to divide our vase also, like this. Done till here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to make some flowers. So make some stems, and then. We're going to add some flowers. Very simple flowers, okay? Don't take tough ones. Circle and some petals. So in this activity, you can use any color. Any color in the sense you can use water, poster, <coughs> sorry, uh, pencil colors, brush pens. or you can even use your watercolor pencils crayons oil pastels anything whatever you have but don't forget to outline everything with bold marker or black sketch pen like this okay now what we are going to do is we are first going to divide our foreground this is our foreground this is our background first we are going to divide the vase so we will divide the vase like this we'll break it not exactly literally break it but we'll break the shape okay so vase is done and then you're going to color the vase with two or three shades of blue so you can take your pencil colors or crayons whatever you have so i'll just take some pencil colors and just take two or three shades of blue or any one color but that color should not repeat in any other area okay like this one shade here the other shade like this oh it broke I'll just take your purple. Okay, like this, you're going to add various shades. Different, different shades of any one tone. Now, once we're done with the bars, we're going to break this area. With similarly, with geometrical shapes. <clears throat> and again in this one what we are going to do is we are going to color it with different different shades of any one color like brown or yellow okay like this now now comes the flowers will remain like this Okay, let's color the flowers now. So I'll just color the center with yellow, and just take two or three colors for the petals. Let's take orange and red, red and orange. 
like this just randomly color the petals all the petals okay just take two or three colors now what we have is this area this background area again with the help of pencil first we're going to break the background area I'm using a pencil because then you all will be confused so I'll just break this background with different different lines flowers will remain like that only but we are going to break the background into various diff or different shapes okay so we once we are done with the vase once we are done with the foreground once we are done with the flowers then do the background with any one or two colors okay so I'll just show you how I just did half of it so my base looks like this so I've just taken your two colors dark blue and light blue and in this one I've just take I've just taken here all like I've used your sketch pen also oil pastel also pencil color also so they all are giving me a different shades you can do that way also or you can just take any two colors like brown or yellow and do it with that and in sim similarly with the background also you can do like that just take two or three colors and do it so first of all you need to complete one by one just move one by one bars first of all secondly this uh, foreground third the flowers and fourth the background so once you're done with the flowers just boldly outline the stems so that they can be different shape. they are different they looks they do uh, they look different than the background okay just boldly outline it similarly you can do it for the vase also okay and then you can do the background for background just take two colors any two colors So let's just take here green, shade of green because we have not used green here and make sure that your color should not repeat in any other segment otherwise uh, the fun will just go away okay one this the other one with light green so like this you can do it and then they will look different from the flowers, the background, the foreground, everything will look different. So whatever color you are using in this part, don't use that color in this part. That's simple. See, like this, you can just complete it with green, shades of green. And you can use any color. I've already told you, you can use any color. Pencil color, crayons, watercolors, poster colors. Make sure that if you're using poster colors, outline it later. Otherwise, the black color will ruin everything. Okay. Similarly with watercolors. And you can do that with crayons or oil pastels. You can just outline it before and color the, uh, the drawing later. So make sure you complete your work and do share the work with me. I'll just show you again this lower part how it will look so the vase and the background will look like well, the foreground and back, uh, vase will look like this and the other thing will look like this okay so complete it share the images and I'll wait for your work have a great day everyone stay safe stay home have fun thank you so much